this is an 85 gallon, and this starts, this would start flat, and we would start with this uh, big air hammer using basically just a piston mm -hmm. hooked up to the air compressor with a hammer head. And we'll take it to about six and a half, seven inches deep with this hammer. Then we go in between, we'd rough it up with this hammer, and then we'd smooth it out with this hammer and just do it a, cu a couple of times until it's about eight and a half, about eight and a half inches deep. Then we'll have all of the templates. Which are right. So it's just a flat oil drum and you guys just pound it down that deep. Yes, but then we have... Then we have all the templates, mm -hmm. which go, which we lay out. So we have a, a basic idea of where the notes are gonna be. Gotcha, gotcha. And we go all okay. the way around, all the way around the whole drum. Then we start taking these hammers, and we start hammering in between each note. Mm -hmm. Never actually hammer in the middle of the note because that's where the highest point we want. Gotcha. Okay. And then we um after we do that we. We smooth, we tighten pretty much where it's going to be, then we have to re remark it out because after a little while the, the notes will stretch because we have to re remark them out and everything like that all the way around. And after we hammer all in here, mm -hmm. it'll stretch the metal. So then when we put this template back on, the note will actually be about two or three inches bigger than what it was. Gotcha, okay. So we remark it out to its original size. And then, if you can see the scribe lines in the, in the note, you see these, like, these little scribe lines. Yeah, I think you can't see it. We put yeah, those uh -huh. on with this, which is basically a, basically an air tool that vibrates. It just scribes a little etch mm -hmm. into the steel, and I have templates that guide me. Very cool. So that's okay. And then after that, I just take a punch and a hammer, which is... punch right here and I go all the way around which is this is already done but I would go I would do a complete circle all the way around the note mm -hmm. that rises or raises the note and this it helps for good separation gotcha, between man. each note then after that we uh, we cut we burn the drum we clean it mm -hmm. and then um Start tuning. You gotta still drum. You gotta still drum. That is too sweet, man. And then we'll, we'll tune it a couple times. If it's gonna mm -hmm. be painted, we'll, we'll, we rough tune it first. Then we go around the drum again. We kind of fine tune it. And then we, if it's gonna be painted, we we'll paint it. Mm -hmm. and then um, after we paint it, it'll usually knock out most of the notes. It'll make them all go sharp. Usually. Okay. Then we retune it, and that, that's pretty much it. If we're gonna chrome it. Um, and that's what's going to happen with this drum. We're going to mm -hmm. go around the drum, make it, make sure it's pretty close to perfect. We send it to the chrome shop. Mm -hmm. Every note's going to be completely out of tune. Yeah, just to go back and do it again. But the reason we tune it first is it gives it, it puts it in a basic general area of being in tune. Mm -hmm. A note wants to be in tune. Once it's in tune and it stays in tune for a, a good period of time, the note kind of settles like that. Mm -hmm. And when, when you get it back from the chrome shop, all you got to do is just push down the notes. And usually it'll come right back in. That's but, sweet. And they usually sound better because there's copper, there's more steel, a lot more metal for the mm -hmm. ring through. Well, well, gotcha. Good. And the company is called Tropical Hammer? That's it. Tropical, Tropical Hammer, Hammer, Hammer baby. Thank you, Tommy. Appreciate it, man.